Create a role hierarchy. Learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to explain how a role hierarchy is different from an org chart, view and modify the role hierarchy, create and assign roles to simplify access to records, create and edit roles. A role hierarchy works together with sharing settings to determine the levels of access users have to your Salesforce data. Users can access the data of all users directly below them in the hierarchy. Users who need to see a lot of data, such as the CEO, executive or other management, often appear near the top of the hierarchy, but role hierarchies don't have to match your org chart. Each role in the hierarchy just represents a level of data access that a user or group of users needs. A manager always has access to the same data as his or her employees regardless of the org-wide default settings. Users who tend to need access to the same types of records can be grouped together. We'll use these groups later when we talk about sharing roles. Depending on your sharing settings, your roles can control the level of visibility that users have to into your Salesforce data. Users at any given role level can view, edit and report on all data owned by or shared with users below them in the role hierarchy. Unless your sharing model for an object specifies otherwise. Specifically, in the organization-wide defaults related list, if the grant access using hierarchies option is disabled for a custom object, only the record owner and users granted access by the org-wide defaults receive access to the object's records. Beyond setting the org-wide sharing defaults for each object, you can specify whether users have access to the data owned by or shared with their subordinates in the hierarchy. For example, the role hierarchy automatically grants record access to users above the record owner in the hierarchy. By default, the grant access using hierarchies option is enabled for all objects. It can only be changed for custom objects. To control sharing access using hierarchies for any custom object, enter sharing settings in the quick find box. Select sharing settings, that's what we did in the challenge before. In the organization wide default settings, click edit, deselect grant access using hierarchies if you want to prevent users from gaining automatic access to data owned by or shared with their subordinates in the hierarchies. It's all quite intricate stuff. Define a role hierarchy. Implementing a role hierarchy in the platform is easy once you have an idea of what the hierarchy should look like. It's best to start with the company's org chart and then consolidate different job titles into single roles wherever possible. For example, if a software development group has a staff software engineer and a junior software engineer, these positions can be consolidated into a single software engineer role in the hierarchy. Once that's done, you can start get started defining the role hierarchy itself. From setup, use a quick find box to find roles. Tip, if you see an introductionary splash page called Understanding Roles, click Setup Roles at the bottom of the page to skip the actual tool. There we have it. The default view for this page is a tree view as indicated on the drop down list on the far right side of the role hierarchy title bar. When creating a role hierarchy, it's probably easiest to stick to this on, on the view list uh, because they both make it easy to see how the roles all fit together in the hierarchy. The sorted list view is best if you know the name of a role that you want to find but aren't sure where it fits in the hierarchy or if you don't want to click open all the tree nodes. For our purposes, we'll stick with the tree view. When you first start defining a role hierarchy, the tree view displays a single placeholder node with the name of your org. From this point, we need to add the name for the role that's the highest up in the hierarchy, in our case the CEO. Note if you're building your app with a free developer edition or Red Hat Playground org, you may have a role hierarchy predefined as a sample. That's alright, you can still follow along and create some more roles. Just under the company name, click add role. <coughs> Pardon me. Note if the CEO role already exists, click Edit. Now let's go there.
Und Let's take a set up your hierarchy to handle how your organization reports on and access data, sample hierarchy, view other sample whole. So we can see like which one we want to use for this uh, module. Let's see, execute this stuff. Western sales director, Eastern sales director, internal sales director. So this is all like sales director focused. I can view edit data or forecast. Can access data of users above or at the same level. Okay. Product base. So this is not about sales, but like uh, different product departments, one VP of hardware, one VP of software, one VP of networking. And the last one is a company size based sample, Fortune 1000 director, mid market director, so wholesale director. So here we are in split screen, you can see it's already in the tree view, just in the company name, so the company name would be here, but it's just my personal developer account, so there's no uh, company name, and um, click add rule, that's what we are supposed to do. The CEO already exists, click edit, okay, we can cancel this and then click edit. In the label text box, enter CEO, the role name text box auto populates with CEO. In this role reports to text box, click the lookup icon and select click select the next to the name of your org by choosing the name of the org and this will report to textbox we are indicating that the CEO is a top is in a top level position in our role hierarchy and doesn't report to anyone. We can select this. This will be the company name. There's no company, so I just save this. And in the role name, as displays on records, text box, enter CO. So that's all there. This text is used in reports to indicate the name of the role. So there's a long role name like vice president. Uh, of product development text extra space in your records columns we're using a short but readable abbreviation okay just nothing too short so you actually recall it or leave any other options such as opportunity access set to the default and save it These access options don't, need, don't have anything to do with our recruiting app and only appear if you have the org wide defaults for standard objects that to a level more restrictive than public read write. Now that you've created your first role, you can assign the appropriate user to it. Click CEO on the CEO role detail page and click assign users to role. OK, 
I think you're supposed to click on there, I'm not really sure. Uh, yes, assign your to row. In the available users drop down is select all unassigned. Choose the user from the list and click add to move her to selected users for CEO. Let's move myself there. If you return to the main roles page from setup, you can and now well, let's save this firstly. You can now see the CEO role in the hierarchy. You can define the rest of the roles according to our your role hierarchy diagram. There's no need to assign users to every role right away. You can do that later as you create the rest of your users, test out your app. Okay, let's go to the chart again. Yeah, I don't really see myself there, but whatever. And there's mm, now a lot more roles for some reason. Tip to speed up the process, adding a new role, click add role directly under the name of the role to which the new role should report. When you do this, this role reports to textbox automatically filled with the name of the appropriate role. Role hierarchy for the recruiting app. Now it gets complicated. Well, let's take a look at the branch of the role hierarchy for a fictional company that's using our recruiting app. Remember that the org wide defaults we define hiring managers are allowed to view but not create or update all positions, job posting, and employment website records, and to view and update other recruiting records they own. That doesn't make our app all that useful. However, once your role hierarchy is in place, our users can get to the data they need and our app is off and running. This role, this role hierarchy grants this kind of record level position. The CEO Cynthia can view and update every record that anyone else in the organization can view and update. The VP of development Andrew can view and update any record that his managers or his managers employee can view or update. The VP of Human Resources, Megan, can view and update any record that Phil, her recruiting manager, or Mario, Phil's recruiter, can view and update. The recruiting manager, Phil, can view and update any record that is owned by Mario, the recruiter. The software development manager, Ben, can view and update any record that is owned by Melissa, Tom, or Craig, his software engineers. The director of QA Clark can view and update any record that is owned by Flash or Harry, his QA engineers. As you can see, the role hierarchy is a powerful way to open up data for people who need to see a lot of it. With awkward defaults and the role hierarchy in place, you are almost done with the record level access permissions for the recruiting app. All that's left is to share recruiting related records between users that appear in separated branch of the role hierarchy and between peers in a single group. You can do both of these things with a combination of sharing rules and manual sharing. Hands on challenge. Create a role hierarchy for new team alignment. Following your company's sales kickoff meeting, teams have realigned and a number of new strategic positions have been added to the sales organization, including a training coordinator, sales strategy manager and chief sales officer. The sales strategy manager reports to the chief sales officer and also directly supervises the training coordinator. The chief sales officer reports directly to the CEO. Please create the necessary or roles in the hierarchy to accommodate these organizational changes. So let's see. Challenge requirements, create the chief sales officer role. Chief 
Chief Sales Officer, Ronald Chief Sales Officer reports to CEO. So I'm heading to the wrong page here. So let's hope it's not all gone. Seems to be a bit fickle, but here it's still there. So let's continue here. So let's continue here, create training coordinator role. Issues and errors. And we got the 500 points, so let's tackle the next unit. 